lands beneath Mount Kelbagan form one of the main dwarf settlements in this region. Its principal sources of wealth are weapons-grade steel and the obsidian used for carving sacred objects. It is a very ancient site known to all races and peoples from the central kingdoms to the far peoples of the sea, unlike the other cities of the dwarves, which are generally secret places. Since time began, the dwarves have struggled against evil. Safe beneath the mountains, they have accumulated the wisdom, wealth and power to combat the forces of darkness.
things made the primordial chaos, and of how he took part of the formless mass and separated it, creating light and darkness, giving them both life and their own souls. But how he voiced him again now. Finally he had company and no longer felt alone.
On his return from the War of the Sword, Freyr was greeted with celebration and appointed king at the base of the mountain. He took his place on the throne and reigned from the stone hall of many pillars. The doors were thrown open and trade was established with men. On Queen Asher's death, a tomb was built in Ephira in her honor and to protect her from any further evil. The mines have been sacked by an Orkish army. The dwarves seem to have retreated before their arrival. The old story of Freyr, the dwarven hero, speaks of powerful weapons hidden in the tombs of Ephira. Perhaps you will find some answers there.